Hi guys, it's uh, Inamigo4 again with the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, this one's running Ice Cream Sandwich. I'll just show you which one it is. There you go, it's running Android 4.0.3, as you can see there. Uh, this is a European build. build. Um, in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to block uh, SMS text messages from reaching your phone. Um, if you're anything like me, you may get um, like spam text messages uh, and there's quite a lot of that going around in the media saying there's just random people just texting you asking you to do things or subscribe to things and I've got a couple of those in my messages here you can see uh, and this is one that came through so asking if you have a look at some explicit videos and whatnot so what we're going to do is just show you a way to uh, block SMS text messages uh, from certain numbers um, out of the box on this operating system you can't do that so what you need to do is go on to the Play Store and search for SMS blocker okay and it's the top one it's free to download I'm on the Wi-Fi so it's only about a meg and a half or so it's not going to take too long to download and there you go it's, in, it's installing it now we'll just open it out of the box right away Okay, we'll accept the conditions and it's asking for you to set the country code within the UK it's already recognized that and it's set it as 44 so that's fine we'll just hit set and then it says important setting create a list of SMS senders whose all SMS's are to be allowed and it's saying note that phone book contacts are added by default to the list so it's saying create a list of allowed contacts and the phone book contacts are added by default so that's okay so it won't allow any external contacts apart from what you already have in your contacts so if I just go back a little bit there it's in the inbox there it's looking at the messages in the inbox and if you look at the blocked SMS there's nothing there so if you hit back there for a second it'll just take us to the main menu where we got block allow filter logs and settings in the block as it says there it's a block list contains lists of SMS senders whose all SMS's are to be blocked allow it's basically that list of allows uh, allowed senders uh, it automatically adds the contacts by default so it doesn't display them all there filter is both block and allow on a split screen logs is anything that's basically blocked it will display here and you can have a look just to make sure it's blocked the correct ones you got the settings at the end I'm just saying that SMS block is on yada 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 so you can set a password on it you can set up uh, and you can see delete logs automatically is on what we'll go we'll go to block straight away hit the menu button here we'll get an add new hit add new and it gives you three options you can add it from your inbox add the number that you want to block from in the inbox from the phone book or you can add it manually I've already received a text message from this number so I'm going to do inbox okay then it gives you the list of numbers I have there I'll know it's the middle one there so I'm going to just tick it and hit add and then it says sender added successfully in the block list and it's as easy as that so we'll just go back and you can see in the block it's now got that number it's got, and if I want to delete that number all I do is hit the trash bin from there and it removes it from the block list now what will happen is next time that number sends me a text message I won't receive any sort of notification at all on the phone and automatically put it into the log the only way I'll know if I've received a message is if I manually go into the app and then go into the logs and it'll, I'll see it there but at the moment you can see it's under the block and that's it that's as easy as that that's how you can block an SMS text message from reaching your phone if it's a Samsung Galaxy S2 but it will work on any Android platform um, Bing, as I said, this one's ice cream sandwich but it will work on gingerbread um, maybe Froyo depending on if you can get to it from the, the marketplace or the play store but that's as easy as you can do it, it doesn't take too much faffing around any questions or comments please comment them below put those below rather 
uh, hit subscribe from the button up top there just to keep in touch and check out what I'm up to with some of my future videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.